Hey, it's Dr. Adishina. How are you guys doing? I am back again. Listen, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a productivity hack that you should implement today. Listen, if you're watching this video, it's not entertainment. Every nugget I give is actually thing you can apply it right now and change your life. All right. So here's the number one productivity hack for you to become productive every single day. All right, and it boils down to one thing, which is the first thing you do when you wake up. What is the first thing you do when you wake up? Just think about it for a second. Do you grab your phone and go on Instagram or Facebook and scroll and scroll or YouTube? Is that the first thing you do? Or you already have the day pre-planned before you wake up? You see, a lot of people tell me, oh, I don't have time. Oh, oh wait a minute, um, I'm always distracted or... You know, I, I'm busy or I said I was going to study today, but I did it. The question is, are you controlling time or time is controlling you? You see, the top 1% in the world, the guys that are getting the 260s and 270s on the USMLA, they're not different from you, right? But there's one thing all of them have in common. They schedule their time. So... This is the one thing I want you to do tomorrow. When you wake up in the morning, don't grab your phone for the first hour. This is gonna be so hard for all of you watching this video right now to do. I promise you, right? Break that habit of grabbing your phone the first hour of the day. And when you wake up, brush your teeth, take a shower, pray, do something, right? And then Go down your list on a piece of paper and say, what do I have that I must get done today? Print out a schedule and put it on the wall in your room and look at it and say, at 7.30 p.m., what am I supposed to be doing? You understand what I'm saying? At Smash Assembly, we make schedules for you. There's a reason for that. Because if you don't schedule stuff, it doesn't get done. That's just how it works, guys. Because your mind will go health and skelter, and if you don't control your time, the rest of the world will control it. So if you want to be productive, if you want to get stuff done, if you want to get out to 70, you want to smash the USMLE, you need to be on that schedule. This is the reason why our coaches are trained to teach you the power of putting things down on a piece of paper a Microsoft Word, print it out and have it in your home so that you have a plan for the day. So don't pick up your phone when you wake up tomorrow morning for the first hour and say, what am I supposed to be doing for the next 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours left in the day? And then bring out a pen and a paper and say, okay, check, 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 have I done this? And at the end of the day tomorrow, I want you to sit down and look at that schedule and say to yourself, did I accomplish what I set my mind to do? You see, the problem with us people in life is we make promises to other people and we try as best as we can as human beings to keep that promise. If you promise somebody a gift, a phone call, a text message, you make that promise, you owe it to that person and you hold yourself accountable. And if you have a man of, of woman of integrity, you make sure you actually fulfill it. Because if you don't, you're going to feel bad, right? Because when they call you, like, you told me you are going to call me. Like, I'm sorry, right? You see that feeling? So why are you making promise to yourself and you don't keep it? And then when you don't keep that promise, you don't feel bad about it. And then you wonder why you are not making progress. You wonder why things are not working out. Because you don't feel bad. You're letting yourself down. You made a promise to yourself that you're going to study six hours today. And what did you do? You stood for an hour or well, something happened and you didn't feel bad. So you need to take accountability and say, listen, to heck with everybody, I got to get this done. I'm matching in 2022, baby. I'm getting my step one, step two CK, my OET. I'm getting done. I'm applying in September, damn it. And I'm sick and tired of doing the same thing over and over and seeing poor results. Are you with me? Leave a comment in the chat if this resonates with you. If you're ready, if you're ready to take your, your game to the next level, if you're tired of failing over and over, you need to make promises to yourself and you hold that promise until you get it done. 
then you go on Instagram or Facebook or whatever you want to do. Do what you want to do, what you have to do, so you can do what you want to do, guys. That's the rule of the game. So tomorrow morning, don't pick up your phone the first hour. Look at your schedule. Follow exactly what I tell you and become part of the 1%. You ready? You're going to become the best you can possibly do. God bless y'all. Take care. Dr. Audition from Smash Face Review. Book a comment below. I want to hear your thoughts.